Welcome back everybody. The most common question I have gotten across my Cloud Sea guide videos has been, how do I find a certain partner? Where is Spinda? Or Hikiki? How can I gift them? Let's go over some tips and tricks I have for you to find your partners anytime you need them. If you're still new to Cloud C Manor and its game systems, let's go over one thing real quick. What are some reasons that we would need to find our partners? Number one, daily challenges. Mactung and Spinda have daily competitions that you can do to increase our affection, which seems to be a quarter heart a day. Mactung will challenge you to cooking, just like his initial quest, and Spinda will want to race you, just like his unluck quest as well. Number two, gifting. The most common reason to track down your friends is to gift them. Once you unlock their gifts, only from dispatch, then you will want to track them down and shower them in their favorite item. Let's look around very quickly to what unlocks gift items over in this chart. Also remember, if any partner has a quest active, they will just stand still there, or at least a quest version of them will stand there. You may still interact with the quest version of your partner as if they were anywhere on the map. So if you need someone for a quest, just click the quest and check your mini map to find out where they are. So where is everybody on the manor when they're not on a quest? The fact is they could be literally anywhere. What I have noticed is a couple of specific points along the roads that they seem to pause at. They sometimes nap, exercise, or fish, which just seem to hang out temporarily. But they do also walk or run around between these spots along their everyday comfy little lives. They do not seem to follow any particular route individually, and someone you might see in one spot might have a different partner doing the same thing later on. They simply choose random idle spots on the map to chill out at. All right, so now how do we actually track them down? Tip number one, go to 3D camera mode. Being able to move around your camera is going to make it a lot easier to locate everyone. I highly suggest going into 3D camera mode for the easiest time searching. Even doing some testing in 2.5 mode doesn't make it as easy. Tip number two, look around you as you travel around the manor. As you walk around the roads, keeping the camera in an almost over the shoulder mode will make it very, very easy to find them. They will walk or run between different parts of the map. And there are many little spots right off the roads where they will hang out. What I've noticed is a couple of specific points along the pathways that they seem to pause at, such as napping in the grass, doing some stretching exercises, or fishing along the edges. Number three. Something that I have noticed when trying to find any possible patterns to their behavior is they are very, very chatty. Look in the distance and see these small dialogue boxes and go ahead and travel towards them. You should be able to start spotting partners as soon as you get close by. You will be able to see their chatting from across the map easily to spot them. Once you notice what facility they are near, Feel free to use a teleport to get closer, look around, and finally interact. There are a handful of NPCs at the facilities that also chat, but they don't seem to talk as frequently. The chat boxes easily display that a partner has paused somewhere. And here is my fourth tip for you. A good overall look point is over at the melting point. The cliffside here has a very nice overview of the majority of the map. I also tested the game while in full low settings here, and I could still easily spot which partners were walking around the road, their chat boxes popping up in the distance. You could even just spin the camera behind you, checking around the melting building and if there's any behind the sawmill area or on the paths nearby. You can easily look out across the whole manor island to spot everyone. With the latest Cloud Sea update, I now have a fifth tip for you. They have actually added a new option on how to find your partners as well. So long as you have a gift item in your inventory, you can now click use and a blue dot will appear on the map that shows you exactly where the partner is located. Keep in mind, if the partner is busy with a quest, this method doesn't seem to work. Thanks so much everyone for your patience while I finished up this video. I had some real life circumstances that kept me away for a while. 
I'm currently working on the footage and info for the latest Cloudsea updates patch. Please wish me luck on unlocking the new dispatch gifts. Their chances to unlock definitely seem lower than previous gifts. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the guide, please remember to like and subscribe. Do you have any questions? Feel free to leave a comment. And if you'd like to check out my other content, I go live on Twitch three times a week. I'd love to meet you. Happy gaming.